Hello and welcome back to the bus. So I have my vinyl ready along with my liquid nails, sub floor and deck construction adhesive uh, interior and exterior for gluing the vinyl down. Even though it said in the package don't glue, I think I need to glue it. Otherwise it'll just slide everywhere when I'm driving and because I'm a, a maniac when I drive. Not really, well maybe I am, I'm not really sure. <laughs> um, everyone's a maniac to someone else. Words of advice from Dan Clark. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna glue it down, at least the middle part here, because I'll probably have like a couch here, a closet there, and like a sink here, and a bathroom here. So that's what I'm thinking right now. So let me just glue in the middle, and then we can care about the rest later. Yeah, so that was a mistake. <laughs> I shouldn't have uh, glued those in quite yet. It's a little bit early to be gluing stuff in um, this early in the build, I feel like. And yeah, so don't, what, what am I, what was I even doing here? I was, oh, I was cutting off these to make them the right size. And I just, I guess my idea has, uh, here was I wanted to only have flooring be in the middle right here because I thought the sides it would be exclusively used for the couch and the sink. But that wasn't the case, and wow, that glue got everywhere. <laughs> uh, I don't know, remember if it was the glue or the paint, but these have little, these uh, vinyl pieces have very small seams on the ends, and that made it so that if I wanted to put more vinyl in on the other ends, then it would, how would I say this? It would be hard to get more vinyl on the on the ends if I wanted to expand them. And that's where my trouble started. Because like, this right here, this looks fine. Like, if I had the rest of the floor covered up with my couch... And, oh my god, look at that mess I made. And... <laughs> made such a gluey mess. Also, yeah, I should have painted, below, like, above the little plywood there. With normal, like, uh... Well, not normal, but... Some... Some paint that would, you know, prevent mold or stuff. I mean, not that I have that issue right now, but... It's probably what I would have done. <laughs> but yeah, I, I shouldn't have glued this this early. But yeah, make sure to triple click that like button so that you don't glue your face to the floor like I did. All right, it is a new day here in the wood house. And by the wood house, I mean I have filled my bus just full of wood. Because um, I want to get things done. And the only way to do that is just, just fill it with wood. Kill all the trees. No, don't, don't kill the trees. I'm sorry, trees. Now I feel bad. But anyways, what I'm doing today is... I have my original like power wall I used before. I made some modifications to it because I want to make it a little bit smaller because I'm going to basically slide this power wall in to there. Um, and then I'll have like a little place for a drawer here or something like that. Like I can just put like a bedroom drawer. It seems nice, but when I was doing that, my um, charge controller fell off. So I need to put that back on. It's a 30 amp, I believe. Or maybe it's a 40 amp Renji charge controller. I'm gonna have it potentially work. It could work for eight solar panels, but I think maybe six. I just got two more. So yeah, uh, I'm going to put that back on and then slide it in and then hopefully just drill everything down. And then that should be good. And I can start attaching stuff to it. Hopefully get power. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually did get manage to get the, those solar panels, eight solar panels, like, uh, hooked up. At first I started with six, uh, three and three in parallel, but yes, eight solar panels seems to have worked. I haven't had a, I haven't really checked to see what I've gotten, like, max in Florida. I'm just, I don't think it's nearly as close as 800, considering that, like, one of them has cracked, so that might decrease the wattage. But yeah, I'm just sliding this in here. Uh, I don't, I don't know if I will actually use that, the, so the little behind the wall there for actually storage, but we'll see. I, I I don't plan to, and I'm just attaching here of some two by fours just so like it's a little bit more sturdy, uh, because my bed is gonna go on top of this, and I, if I just I guess attach everything to each other, then it won't slide around as much. Uh, I mean that's my idea, and you can see all my windows and doors open here because it gets really hot in here. Don't do this kind of stuff in Florida. Just, just go somewhere else. <laughs> you know, learn from mistakes. But yeah, I think uh, I am ready to, I guess, finish my electric here. I, I just want to make sure everything can, I guess, plug in to my, um, I guess, my box. 
All right. So I just plugged in my Max Air Fan up there and my lights somewhere over there into my charge controller. And I'm only doing that because there's so uh, there's so low voltage and so low. Actually, sorry, they're, they're 12 volts. <laughs> sorry, they're not. But anyways, they're so low wattage that I, it's oh, like it's it's fine to do. Like the lights definitely because they're like three amps each. So that'll be like uh, around 12 amps, I guess total. Um, I guess my math's a little bit wrong there. But the, the I guess the fan, I think can go like to 30 to 50 watts, which is, I don't really know the limits of like what can be plugged into this. Like I looked it up and they said, or it said like, yeah, I just use only for low wattage things. So I feel like 30 to 50 is pretty low wattage. It's not like my fridge, which I will need to use this for. Um, this is bus bar or blue sea systems. Uh, thingy. I just need to find the right wires to plug in there and plug in the fridge for there. And then I guess take the wires for my battery and put that into here. But that is for another day. I am done with this. I think it is time for me to get my batteries uh, and then mess with all the wires over here. I've not been looking forward to it. But it has to be done. Alright. Here I am back at a Home Depot. Basically live here. Um, except I don't sleep in my bus right now, but <laughs> I got Kills Mold and Mildew. It's what they recommended to prime up the wood, or at least what's left of it. Obviously I can't get um, the vinyl because that's already done, but I have a feeling that if water is getting to the middle part here, it's, yeah, it will get moldy. But um, I guess for me to prevent that, I would have to prevent any leaks in the roof. And I think I sealed up that. Um, but I guess we'll see next time it rains. I don't, I'm pretty sure water won't get in the middle. So I think I will just remove everything um, from the sides of the bus and I guess paint it with this stuff. Honestly, I haven't painted before. So I'm not really much of a painter. Well, maybe I painted like once or twice when I was like a kid. So um, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. I think I will actually tape it up first so I don't get mm, paint on the, what is it called? I guess it's not paint. He really didn't like me saying paint when I asked like for anti-mold paint. It's, it's primer, thank you. Very, very, very different. I'm sure there's a there's a, a chemical difference, but yeah, I'll, let me do some painting and taping. Woo! Oh uh, yeah. So one, once again, I should have taped this better because uh, I'm not. Or I guess I'm taping it here, but it's using this very thin tape. I don't think it's preventing much paint getting through, honestly. Because I, 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 I put try to put like a big load of paint as I could. I guess I didn't put as much paint as I could have, but I'm not really expecting. I will, actually at this time I wasn't expecting too much water, but I there was a lot of water that came in because I have drilled into the walls a lot with this bus, and that is not good for letting water come into the bus. Um, but yeah, I'm just painting like everything here. It's it's a cool paints it makes everything like a little bit cleaner looking with it like having a primer in there but i'm not looking forward to painting everything else <laughs> oh my god look at that i got so much paint on this vinyl it's so crazy uh, 